Hey guys, this is Nicole. Um, I thought I would do a quick um, process video, but I'm going to focus more on um, talking about working with the kit um, and um, versus, you know, just putting together a page, which I'll do both. Um, first of all, this is what I have left of the Studio Calico kit. I think you can probably see most everything. Um, I am having a hard time working with this kit for some reason, and I don't know if it's just the color scheme or, or what, but I have made, I'm going to go and show you the layouts I have made. So this is also a layout share as well. Um, if you saw my, um, the, the video where I sh showed the kit when I got it in the mail, um, I had said there that my goal was going to be to, um, oops, I don't knock these off, um, my goal was going to be just to use the kit and at not anything from my stash. And I've struggled with that a little bit. I've only cheated once. <laughs> and that was for this layout here. Um, I just added these stars from Studio Calico and, and also this camera. Um, I had just actually put them away from my, the My Mind's Eye kit that I just finished working with. And those colors were perfect. Um, because the letters in this Studio Calico kit are the dark gray, and, um, I really wanted to get that red in there, um, and the silver stars that came with the kit just didn't, and I could still probably use them along with this, but it just didn't feel like that's what I wanted the look to, you know, to be. So, um, I did add those, but everything else was from the kit, um, I'm sorry, the Arrow 2, um, well, and these. <laughs> Sorry. So all the little itty bitty stuff on here was from my stash, um, and also the um, these uh, were also from the my mind's eye adorbs. I just had a few left um, in the dark blue and one of the aqua colors. So I went ahead and used up the dark blue ones because um, they were kind of they were still sitting out from playing with that kit. So anyway, um, but the letters, the papers, um, this frame and the stickers um, and the titles was, were all from the kit. So I did make that one. It's 8.5 by 11, which I don't do very often, but I happen to have a, in my Disney album, I happen to have um, an empty slot and an 8.5 by 11 page, and so I thought I would do that. Um, I do have a video on how I do my Disney albums, um, and I'll probably do one when they're completed. I'll probably do a finished um, product or project reveal. Um, I make my Disney albums with multiple different sizes of pages and I use page protectors and I and the divided ones and I use 6 by 12 and 8 and half by 11 and I mix it all in and it just um that's how I, I get all the you know autograph cards in there and all that stuff so it's a really fun so this will go in that album um and then I did this um the layout it's a 12 by 12 with a 6 by 12 um so they'll just go in together. This will go to 6x12 page protector. And um, basically, it, pretty simple. Um, I went through my albums and found pictures that kind of match this color scheme, which this ended up being perfect. Especially here, because you kind of have the green for the grass and the blue for the sky. And it's a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids um, feature that was at one of the Disney parks. And so I basically I had um, quite a few photos from it, so I just did this type of layout and um, journaled over here, which I had used um, the back of the this, you know, advertising card. I just cut off some of that. Tucked it in. The stickers um, I used from the sticker sheet. So all of this is from the kit. Um, the sequin star, or the um, wood grained sequin stars I added there because they're very, you know, you have um, the whole feel of the pictures are you're in dirt and you're, you know, with the stumps of the trees and different things. So that worked out perfect. Um, and then I used the title to make a big title and then I added some of the wash, the washi tape here. And I know this is more school themed, but you know, this movie is very much from my childhood. And so I thought that was perfect. Not only because they're children, my kids were children, but it's also a movie from my childhood. So I thought that that theme worked really well. And then I did use this roller stamp and just kind of did some random um, like tracks just because I thought it, it kind of mimicked you know like animal tracks a little bit and since they you know the feeling of the feet of where they were was that they were in with all the insects and bugs and little animals and creatures that are you know now bigger than them um, and so I thought that worked out really well so there's that 
Okay, so what I want to talk about then is what I'm going to do with what I have left. Because I almost last night just said, you know what, I'm struggling with this kit. I'm just going to separate it, put it away, and do something else. Um, but I think I can get some more layouts out of this kit, at least one if not two more. And so I want to show you what my thought process is for how to... Um, to make, a, to make a layout, even though it looks like nothing really matches anymore. So here's the um, scraps I have left from the pages I made. There's those. Um, here are the pattern papers that I have left. Um, there's the front and there's the back. Not a lot of color choices anymore. I have some good neutrals and some good backgrounds. Um, but, you know, not a ton to work with. So I'll probably need to, you know, pull in, pull some of those scraps in. And then I have all the cardstock left. Now, with the exception of craft, I don't use colored cardstock a lot. And so I'm going to kind of decide if I want to just, you know, stick with that or if I want to try it or what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my scraps. And I'm going to say, okay, what can I do with these with and to work with this? And I... My, the first thing that caught my eye was this one here. Um, this one has lots of colors, so I can pull in some of the other scraps. I could also, you know, cut a portion of it and use this yellow, um, I guess like arrow or chevron um, pattern. And so then I could add that, you know, that yellow matches this yellow in here. I don't know if you can see it really well. And then I'm seeing that I could also pull in um, some bits and pieces for my scraps. So here I have that red. Um, don't know about that. Those aren't going to work. You know what? And then I, well, okay. So then I also have some of these cards left. I guess I didn't show that. I have really, I don't, I have these two tickets left still. And then I have, you know, I, I use the Studio Calico cards that they put in their kits. I, I use them as well as this one here. Um, the back of that, and I'm sure that, that that's, that's our purpose in making them decorative on one side. Um, I have a few stickers left, and then I have four of these frames left. Because um, I did use two of those big ones on that last layout I showed you. I didn't point those out. So, I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, okay, I got this here, and really, I have this orange works with that orange in there, and um, this blue, or this aqua, works with that aqua in there. And so now I'm seeing kind of something come together because I have this really busy pattern, but these are all a little bit more toned down. This one's a little bit busier, but in small portions, I think it'll be fine. Or I could even use it as a mat because um, I do have um, a bigger sheet of it left too. So if I want to use it as a photo mat, or I could even use this side, which is just like a grid, and that would be okay as a neutral, and it pulls in that gray there too. So I might pull that in too. Now to figure out... Um, and actually, and honestly, in honesty, let's see, right off the bat, two of these frames work because one's orange and one's like a light pink. And then the yellow one would work as well. So I, any of these frames are going to work. Um, and any of the stickers are going to work because you have all the colors in there, which it makes sense because this is from the same My Mind's Eye paper line. So you have the aqua, the orange, the yellow, the pink, the dark blue. Any of those are going to work. Uh, maybe I could fit them all on there. So now I have this. Now i got to figure out what to use for a background. And the first thing that popped in my head was this light, or this light pink, because it pulls out the light pink um, from this page. But, um, which might work. So I'm going to pull that. I think I'm going to pass on any of these other card stocks. Cause the, the green, um, the cream doesn't work because it's a white based paper. Uh, the green really isn't, it's a different green than what that bright yellowish green color is. And the craft, um, I think is going to, it could work, but that is more of a gray. And I think it's just, it's not going to work for the color scheme I'm going for. So I'm going to set those aside. Um, so then I have my pattern papers and, um, what's catching my eye is, um, neither one of these, but one of these I think would work. Um, I could do here, because here you have, uh, it's hard to see, it's it's a like a graph paper, but you have like pinks, blues, and then greens, it's all cream based, which could be a problem because most of my papers are white based, so I, I'm not loving that, I don't think that's going to work, but this one I think is going to work beautifully because it's all like the orange and the red, which pulls in the orange and the red, and um, 
I could tear this off and also use this, which is that gray that also matches this graph paper. Um, and so I'm thinking that is going to be um, a winning combination there for me. So I've taken, you know, what seemed to be a lot of papers and, um, and uh, scraps that didn't really match. And I think I have a pretty well matched. Uh, I think I still might pull this out. I think that this, yeah, um, we'll see. I might, I can always, you know, add it in. Like I said, add in more of the red um, if I need to. Or just use this little bit and leave it like this. I think um, having this graph with this graph is maybe too much, but I could add it in in bits and pieces. So here I think is what I'm going to work with. Um, I'll show you a little bit better here. And then I can add in any of these. The black might be a little too stark, but I have the, you know, any of these will work. This is going to work. Uh, this little journaling, leftover journaling card I have will work. Um, the tickets, I don't know that those are going to match. I think this is too dark of a blue, so I'm going to put those aside. Um, and then um, I could easily fit in these bright pink and the silver stars as well, because I have that pink in there still. So that's going to work. And this, of course, is a fairly, you know, it has all the colors in it as well. So I could always add that in there as well. So here's my starting point. So now I need to find some photos. And I went through um, my Disney album because these colors to me speak Disney because they're bright and um, so I put these aside first here. And the yeah, and the pink still works. Like I, you know, the pink would still work, but it doesn't. You know, pink this this color pink to me s screams baby girl. You know, more pastel, and it doesn't really fit my Disney album that I have going on. It would work for certain photos, but for what kind of the feel I'm going for, which is just a brighter look, is 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 going to work better with this background versus this one. So I'm going to put those away. I'm also going to go and put these scraps away because these aren't really going to fit into the color scheme either. So I'm going to get those out of the way. And, oops. Um, show you the photos I'm going to work with really quick. You see how long I'm getting here. I don't want to get too long. Okay. So these are the photos that I found. They are from, like I said, Disney World. And they are pictures of, I believe it's Leo from Little Einstein's kissing my oldest daughter's hand. And it has all the colors um, that match. So I have, like, she's wearing a turquoise slash aqua shirt. He has the same color of glasses. He's got orange and black on, which actually then means I could pull in this black frame if I wanted to and off of, right here as I'm looking I'm thinking I could do because I would like to trim these photos a little bit anyway to focus on him kissing her hand I could put that one on there and I could do the yellow one on here and that would be really cute so I so these are going to end up being probably four by four photos so I already have two frames then used up so I think those are going to be good choices for this color scheme okay and so now it just comes down to putting the layout together and um, because I don't have a lot of supplies to choose from, it's probably going to be a fairly simple layout. Um, I'm going to try to keep to my, you know, goal of not adding in a whole bunch from my stash or if any. Um, I may have to, we'll see, but that is my goal. Um, so... I have my scraps, and what I'm thinking is I definitely want to get some of the yellow that's on the background of this on here, so I'm just going to just randomly cut a little bit off, just um, just so that I have some of that to work with, and so now I have some of that yellow, and there's no rhyme or reason, like I just want to have, I have a variety of shapes and sizes here, so I'm just going to kind of layer and just see what works, um, make sure you guys can see me there get this out of the way. And I could even layer these too. Like I don't, cause I don't cut my photos down to that small of sizes very often. So I might just use these to layer as well. We'll see. Um, sometimes just knowing how you scrapbook and how you're going to use something or not use something is sometimes key to just getting your stuff used. Um, that will probably be covered by a photo, so I'm not too worried about that. Actually, I'm going to really quickly go ahead and cut down my photos so I can visually see how much room they're going to take here. 
Um, I'm just let's see. Let's just do this. Just gonna get these adhered on, and then just love these photos. Really want to go back to Disney World. It was such a fun trip. Um, I'm just gonna cut. Basically, see what I'm doing. I just added the frame, and I'm just gonna cut around it here. I just have to basically cut off the two sides. Okay. So I tried to figure out how to do videos where I scrapbooked and did a voiceover and like sped it up. And every software I tried um, did not work. So once I did it, it was like all jumpy and crazy and so I know definitely what I'm doing now isn't going to be perfect. I'm not an expert at this thing. Um, this whole videoing and all that stuff. But So hopefully you guys will bear with me till I get some of this stuff figured out. But um, So I'm just going to do this as is and um, you know what? I'm going to go over a little bit more on that I think. So I want to get more of his head in there. Let's see. You guys can see me or not. Yeah, okay. You guys know I get super inspired by videos and watching people use up their stash and, you know, force themselves to use up their, their things. And so I really enjoy watching those. So I thought I would try some because um, it's really become important to me to scrapbook what I want to scrapbook with and um, for a long time I um, kept everything even from you know eight nine ten years ago and I'll use it I'll use it I'll you know if I, if I put it here I'll use it and then I just I would use it and I would just be like ew you know I don't like it and um, <clears throat> I realized that if I just use my new thing my new items I'm gonna love my pages more and then they aren't gonna become old <laughs> at some point so um, anyway, so a little side note there. Okay, so here's my photos, and i got to figure out how I went. I'm going to try to spread this out a little bit. I'm thinking I either want them up and down or side by side. Let's see here. Kind of liking. Um, it's going to work towards the middle here. <clears throat> Okay, so I think I'm going to try that. Go down a little bit. I really like that. And then I can add in some red here. And then I want to stick some of this yellow. This is where I just kind of play around a little bit, so I like that little red up there, I think. Okay, I think I like that. I think that looks good. It's layered, got lots of colors, it's very playful, it's very bright. I don't know that I'll need this because I think I'll be able to journal directly on the page. We'll see. Um, I'm going to put that aside for now. And so I think I like this. And I'm going to pause and just get it all glued together and then um, start embellishing. Okay, I'm back. I have everything glued down. And so now I'm going to figure out how to embellish. And because I don't have a lot of options, it's going to you know be pretty simple, I think. Um, the gold doilies, I, I just don't think I'm going to use. I don't think it really fits this page. Um, I have some princess photos in this album that I think I might use these, save these for. Um, and then I have, and for these um, wood grain stars, I have some pictures from the, um, oh, what's it called? Um, oh, it's a Disney park that is like nature themed. And I can't think of what it's called now. Um, 
And so these will work perfect for some of those photos. So I think I'm going to just pull these aside for those. Um, if I can pick these up here. And um, those are hard to pick up because they like poke the inside of your fingernail. Okay, so those I'm going to set aside. Um, I kind of determined that that these aren't going to work really in the color scheme. These are kind of too dark. I could probably fit it in, but I don't need to, and I don't think that's going to work. Um, and then I'm not going to do this, I don't think, because I can journal on the background. So those I'm setting aside. And so that leaves me with these here. And um, I'm just going to start kind of placing things. I think I am, just to use these up, I am going to layer um, a little bit. And and some of it you may not even hardly see. It's just going to add a little bit of visual interest. Um, just to kind of add some more layers in there. And this way I can pull in some of that orange. Um, I love this. It says, so happy together. I think that's really cute. If I can make sure that that shows on there. And that can be like its own little die cut embellishment there. Um, I think I might go, I'll go there. I don't go here. Could, no, I think I like it better kind of in this little block and I think you can there you can read this so happy together so I think I might go with that um, let me see what I do with this one this one is a lot lighter so it's gonna be more of a subtle look and I like how they're offset a little bit so I think I'm gonna go with that and um, maybe use this orange sticker here back over here to kind of bring that orange to a three you know triangular look there so I'm gonna go ahead and just attach this so add a little adhesive to the corners under and I like how I'm overlapping some of the you know different layers there. I'm gonna read the house happy together. I don't know. There we go. I think I like it tucked in a little bit more there. Okay. And then same with this one. Let's see if there's one way. You know do these have um I've never I guess asked or tried do these have little films on them to protect them? Yes, I haven't been taking them off if so, I guess. Oh. Well, I'm seeing something. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Sometimes these acetate things do have those protective sheets on them, and I just didn't pay attention. I'm going to go down a little bit, and you can't really see it, it's just, again, adding some visual interest to the page, just because I have some of it over here. Okay, so I have those, and then, oops, I can adhere it down here, good. Okay. Then I think I'm going to go ahead and add in this orange sticker, so that I have kind of my boom, 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 and I think I'll just, I think I'm going to keep, I don't think I'm going to go to the edge of the page, I think I'm just going to kind of keep it off over here. And um, there's this blue one here. I had this kind of large blue block over here, so I feel like I need to get it over here somewhere. Um, I might actually tuck it in to the top here, or no, I think I want to tuck it at the top. I think I like that. Okay. Now, I'm not a fan of these words that are on here. Um, and so I think I want to use them, I'm pretty sure, because I'd like to just use up this whole thing, and then I think I'm going to be good putting the kit away. Um, so I'm going to just either tuck them in far enough, or I'm going to cover them with a star, maybe. Um, so I'm going to just tuck this in somewhere here. Um, I might just tuck this in here. Oops, shouldn't have pushed it down so hard there. Hmm. Let's see. I think I like making the pink over here. I'm just gonna like tuck it in there a little bit. Is that good? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna tuck them in just to add a little extra there, and then. 
See, I don't like this either, this new. Sometimes I wish they would just do the shape and not add words because then it really limits you. Um, so I may or may not, let's see. Let me figure out where I want to do with these here and then. So I think I would like to put some of these pink stars. The dark pink, not so much. Um, I could do the light pink. Um, so I'm going to do some playing around um, just so this video doesn't get super long. I'm going to play around a little bit, fiddle with this, and then I'll be back with my finished product. Okay, thanks. All right, guys, I think I'm done. Um, basically, all I did was I... Um, added, let's see, I did use up all the stickers, and what I did was I just cut the new off of the arrow, and just used the arrow part, and then added some of the, the pink stars, um, which works because you have the pink in here, and then it's my daughter in there, so that works great, and I did grab, um, and again, this is cheating a little bit, but I did grab some red glimmer mist, and just sprinkled um, around and then I did add some of the washi tape underneath here, kind of as a little border as well. Um, so I think, and then I just did a little bit of journaling. Um, I didn't actually journal on the page. I have a lot of pages from this particular lunch, so I'll probably journal somewhere else. Um, and so I think I'm going to call it good. It's pretty simple. Um, and, but I, you know, Really, I used up a whole, the rest of the sticker sheet. I limited myself to the supplies in the, that I had left in the kit. And um, so this will probably be my last page from the Studio Calico September kit that I made. Um, I'll probably split it up and put it away. And then I'll be back here soon with another um, kit that I make that includes... Um, will probably include new supplies mixed with some old. Or it might just be a kit of new supplies. We'll see what I feel like doing and working with. So I will be back soon with that and um, in the meantime happy scrapping. Bye bye.